Hi, Bill Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. Uh, today we're going to continue talking about movement pitches and how establishing and setting up your runway, your throw zone, in different ways enables you to have more command of those movement pitches. We've already talked about the screwball, the curveball, and the drop. Those are three of the four basic movement pitches. And the last one we're going to speak about today is called the rise ball. Now the rise ball is a tough pitch to master. It's all about the spin in the movement pitches as we have spoken about previously. With a curve ball, fingers outside the ball, creating a lot of spin in this direction. With a screw ball, fingers inside the ball, more of a running pitch than a movement pitch. With a drop ball, fingers on top of the ball, creating downward spin. Here's the problem with a rise ball. The rise ball works against gravity. Many physicists will tell you it's impossible, it defies the laws of nature, that throwing a rise ball is merely an illusion. But here's what I say. I've caught a lot of pitchers who throw really good rise balls. It's a pretty good illusion. And whether or not it is illusion or reality, that when the ball, or when my mind as a batter thinks that the ball is going to be here when it hits the hitting zone, and it's actually here, I don't care if it's illusion or reality, I'm going to miss that ball. So throwing your rise ball may not actually be, from a technical, physical perspective, a ball that actually rises as it goes from your hand to the catcher's glove, but let's just say it drops less than the perception of the mind of the batter thinks it is going to drop. So keep throwing those rise balls. Let's talk about how we set up to throw a rise ball because once again how you set up your throw zone how you establish that runway is going to determine the effectiveness of your rise ball let's talk a minute first about the spin as i had said curve ball fingers outside the ball creating a lot of this spin screw ball fingers inside the ball creating a lot of this spin drop ball his fingers over the ball creating a lot of this spin rise ball you want your fingers under the ball as long as possible. If I have set up correctly and I am spinning that ball correctly, the ball is going to spin basically from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock. You can tell when you're practicing your spins, which is the hardest thing to get, it's like turning a doorknob really fast at the front side of your delivery, that if you spin it correctly, your ball is going to take off directly behind you. So if it hits the ground and it runs in a direction straight behind you, you've got the right kind of spin. So how do I set up? What's the difference between my throw zone and how I set my body up to throw a rise ball than any of the other pitches? Let's review just quickly. Here is my fastball stride, okay, and my setup. Okay, here I am. I'm balanced, I'm vertically stacked. My glove hand is pointing at where I want the ball to go, and this is pretty much my fastball stride. For my drop ball, I'm going to shorten my stride slightly. I'm going to get out, out over my front foot, and now my glove hand is pointing down, creating a downward angle of my shoulders, enabling me to come over the ball and create that kind of spin. For my rise ball, my glove hand, in opposite of what my drop ball does, is going to be slightly higher than my fastball glove hand, and my stride is going to be slightly longer. So when I come off the pitching rubber and I get into my rise ball position, here I am. Now you'll notice I'm still balanced. My shoulders are now slightly pointing in an upward direction because that's where my glove hand took it, the rudder that steers my ship. My body's going to follow what my glove hand does. And from here, if I come under the ball and drive through, up to the front side and back with a rise ball as opposed to up to the front side with a fastball. Let me just briefly explain that. As I deliver my fastball, I'm going to fire and drive right up to the front side with good posture. I'm going to get there fast. I'm going to stop. With my rise ball, I'm going to hit that front side and bounce back. So my rise ball is going to look something like this. I won't stride into it. I'll just deliver the ball here. So that gets me more quick spin underneath the ball as I bounce back, maintaining my forward track. Let's look at what it looks like from the front. Okay, here's my fastball coming straight at you. Okay, here I am. 
vertically stack, fire and drive, right at my target, that's where my glove took me. My rise ball, a little bit longer stride, glove hand up, fire, bounce back. Okay, now it's going to happen a little bit quicker. But that's going to enable me to get my fingers under the ball to create that really good 6 to 12 spin, and it's going to, I don't care what you call it, it's going to give the batter the illusion that that ball is rising as opposed to other pitches. Batter is going to put their bat where they think the ball is going to be. The ball is going to be above that spot. I hope you got a lot out of this. It's been wonderful talking to you. We'd love to bring you information that will make you the best pitcher you can possibly be. If you have any questions on this, rise ball is tough to master. If you have any questions on this or any comments, please leave them and we will be happy to get back to you. Great talking to you.